Welcome to our massive Momentum Monday. So glad you guys are all here. We have got so much to cover today and um, it's great to see all your faces. Monday always happens so fast, <laughs> but I'm gonna get right to it today. So um, we got a couple pieces of business and then we're gonna get into our training, but I would like to remind everybody about the turkey shots. If you guys don't know what that is, um, go on to our coaching page. Uh, a great idea to get some momentum going is to ask all your clients to go to the grocery store and share a photo representation holding frozen turkeys of how much weight they've lost and to tag you in their post. This is a great way to expand your circle. If you want to offer a gift card to them, some people will just do it. If you want to say, hey, I'll throw you like a $10 Target gift card or something, um, whatever you want to do, but it's really, really fun. And this like super quadruple expands your circle of influence. Um, I was gonna do mine yesterday and I have it. So I'm committing to you guys, I'm gonna get my turkey shot done today. Um, so all of you coaches, let's lead from the front and get those done. And um, that's a great way, you're gonna hashtag that as well. So make sure they tag you for the, you know, to get the credit. They're gonna need to give you a tag. Um, also, December 10th, we have an event at Boondocks, and uh, Bonnie is making, this is Boondocks in Kaysville, Utah, Bonnie is going to be making a invitation for that. So if you're local, that's an event that you can invite to locally, um, just getting people ready for the holidays. We've got some great recipes to share. Um, those are also posted on our Ohana page. That's a great thing to send to your clients this week. Um, and that's a great way to do like a little check-in. So sharing recipes and then also like, what's your plan for Thanksgiving? That's a great way to do your client check-ins this week. Um, so today we are going to, it's all about goals. This is like a goal setting session and it's really fun because we posted some worksheets. If you guys haven't had a chance yet, um, we've got some worksheets posted. This is the first one that's posted in the thread. And this is creating my three to six month strategic plan. Um, this one is awesome. It's going to go right above my computer today. And this is going to give you like, sometimes you ever think I'm ready to work, but I'm just not sure exactly where I want to focus right now. Okay. So this is going to give you some uh, strategic plan of where to spend your time. And also this is my favorite part. This part is strategic partners. You guys ever thought about that? Who's my partners in this, right? So we've got our goals, but we've got, who, who do we need to get, help us get to our goals? Um, and then the second thing was some real sample businesses. If you guys ever wondered like, hey, I wanna make, you know, $1,000 a month. What do I need to do to get there? Or I wanna make $5,000 a month. You know, maybe that's your current income and you're looking to, free up some space in your life and you want to switch to working from home, how do I replace $5,000 a month? You're going to be able to look at some, you know, the, these are real businesses that we've got here as that second link on the messenger thread. Um, people's snapshot of their businesses, what their group volume is, how many coaches they have, what kind of frontline volume they have. There's a lot of different ways to build our businesses, but these are snapshots. So if you want to look at those, you can decide, Hey, I want to make $10,000 a month. What am I going to have to do to get there? We're going to give you some um, ideas of what you've got to do. And so this is the third link, um, setting personal and business goals. And this is gold. You guys, we received this in Phoenix. Some of your leaders that were in Phoenix received this. And we're going to share that with you guys because this is pure gold to me. Now we've been going over a lot of transformational stuff in our last few meetings. Um, this is kind of transactional and we need both. I love, sometimes this is like, I kind of, I gravitate towards this because sometimes I'm just like, what do I need to do? Okay. So before I get too far into this, I want to ask you guys a couple questions and we're going to do kind of popcorn answers. And I want you guys to take yourself off mute. Um, I, I'm going to suggest, I'm going to make a suggestion here that one of the top things you need to do to reach your goals, and, and you guys tell me if you think I'm wrong, and if, if you get into this business at all, you might recognize that it's more fun and it's more effective to do it as a team. Raise your hand if you found that to be true. Can, I, mean, I mean, you can get so far, like you can coach 65 people, 
right? But once you hit a max on how many people you can coach, you start to realize I need more coaches to help me coach people. Like maybe you're coaching five people, but your fifth person that came in is a coach and you recognize, well, this is actually more fun to do with some people, right? So I'm going to suggest that this business is more fun and more effective to do as a team. I want you guys to take yourself off mute and tell me who you are looking for. Who do you want to work with? specifically attributes of people that you enjoy working with. What do you enjoy in a team? Meaning if you could create your perfect coach to work with you alongside you, what are some attributes this person would have? What are you looking for in your team? So take yourself off mute and let me know. I'll go. <clears throat> Um, I think that, you know, when I think about who, who I want to partner with and you know, have come on board and coach and build a business for themselves. I mean, I really look for people who are coachable okay, um, and are really kind of like curious to, to learning and exploring new things. I would say that those are kind of like my top two. Ooh, I love it. Curious and coachable. Perfect. I'm, I'm writing these down people. This is going to be gold. Okay. Somebody else let me know. What are you looking for? Just take yourself off mute. Okay, I'm looking for someone who is kind and has just a love of people who wants, who and, and who loves the program as well. Somebody who just loves it like I do. Oh, those are so good. Loves the program. Oh, you guys, this is fun. These are fun people to hang out with. Loves people, loves the program, and is kind. I love that, Sharice. Okay, more. We're, let's get a really good list going. Okay, I'll share one. I was just thinking um, like a half glass full type of person. Ooh, glass half full type of person. So you're looking for people who are optimistic. I love that. Yeah. Such yeah. a great attribute, isn't it? Well, and I think with that attribute, so many others come from that. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. By the way, I'm naturally a pessimist, like big time. I have to really work at that. And when people are naturally optimistic, I'm always like, oh, I want to be more like that. So I really appreciate when people are like that. Um, somebody else. I'll share stuff. Please. Um, I was just going to say someone that is driven and not afraid of, of work. Ooh, yes. um, Cause I think that's an important, important thing that, you know, they're willing to make time to pursue um, this opportunity. Ooh, Jenny, I was hoping somebody would say that, you know, people who aren't afraid to work, that those are fun people to work alongside, right? That is, those are really fun people to work alongside. I love people who love to work. Um, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else go. What else do you look for in someone or what's just fun? Who, what kind of people do you enjoy working with? Think of like your favorite coaches if you have a coach or think of your friends. If you have friends, what do you look for in your friends? Uh, I'll go. Thanks, I um, like people who are constantly wanting to learn new things. Oh, love that. Love that. Constantly wanting to learn new things. Aren't those people just fun to be around? I love, I love learning. That's something I've always been a sponge for learning. And I think it's fun. Like I kind of geek out when I'm talking to other people and they're like, Oh really? Like and you just shouldn't share. That's really fun. Okay. Couple more. You guys know how to take yours. If you don't know how to take yourself off mute, tap your screen bottom left. I think I'm off mute. Yeah. But hey, Anne. I like people who are positive and don't complain. Oh, yes. <laughs> positive. Oh, my good. Oh, my goodness. Isn't it so fun to be with people who are positive? <laughs> because life is always going to be throwing stuff at us and things are always going to go wrong. And when you're hanging out with people and things are going wrong and they choose to stay positive, it's like a gift. 
it feels like a gift to be with people like that. Okay, let's do one more. Thank you, Anne. That was so important. Hey, Steph. Hey, Krista. I like, I like people who um, seek mentorship because they help me to grow. Because I have to find, I need to, I, I get to help them and I, we get to work together. So I like people who seek mentorship so we can be a team, Ooh. a really team player. So we both grow together. That is an important one. That is a super important one, seeking mentorship. Um, and that just made me think, as you shared that, I'm going to share one of my favorite. I love people who are proactive. Um, being proactive is a, is a super, it's so fun to work with people who are like, hey, I want to do this thing. And I'm like, I didn't think of that. Yeah, let's do that. But they come to me. Like, I think that is so, so fun. Um, does anybody else have a burning one that they want to share that I don't want to cut you off? Anybody have something burning in their heart? Okay, let's move on. Okay, this list, oh, someone take this up off mute. Somebody is off of mute, but that's okay. I think they're back on. Okay, so this list is awesome. This is what I've got. Coachable, curious, loves to learn and explore, kind, love, loves people, loves the program, glass half full, optimistic, driven, not afraid to work, makes time to pursue the business, constantly wanting to learn new things, positive, doesn't complain, seeking mentorship, loves to be part of a team, and proactive. Now I'm going to hey, challenge Steph. Oh, yes. I want to add one. This is Amy. Um, Thank you, Amy. The desire for more. Just oh. more for themselves, more for their life, their family, and their clients. Oh, Amy, you nailed it. Thank you. So that one is so important. Now, you guys, like all of these attributes are so great. But if you're working with people that are like, I'm good, I'm perfect right where I'm at, that's fine. I prefer to work with people who want more. And I think it's fun because I think sometimes I think it's a little bit of an excuse to say I'm good. And I think a lot of us are maybe it's okay to be happy with where we're at, but life changes and life moves on. And sometimes where you're at right now and what you have right now is good. But as you look into the future, you might need a little bit more flexibility. You might need a little bit more income. If you have children, the children might be growing up. If you have grandchildren, those keep expanding and birthdays keep happening and you might want some freedom to travel. So I love to work with people who want more or who see that their life is going to demand more. Um, that's uh, almost, I could put that at the top of the list. So thank you so much for sharing that, Amy. Um, now I challenge you guys. The reason I did this is because obviously this is the person you need to be. So just take a minute and think about the fact is this how I'm showing up, right? Am I showing up as this person? Because as much as you guys are looking for people to run with you and partner with you in your business, you are also a member of a team, right? We're all, we're all doing both. Just like I'm, I have parents, I'm also a parent. And um, I'm a child, but I'm also, I have children. Like we're all in this flux of being in the middle of two things. So we're a team member and we're looking for people to be on our team. And to grow, we have to be both. And, you know, I didn't come into this program with, in, with many of these attributes. I came with some of them, but I've had to develop the ones that aren't natural for me. Like I'm a natural pessimist and it, that's how I wake up in the morning. Like I wake up a pessimist every morning and I really have to work on showing up as an optimist. Um, and, and some of these things are supernatural. I love to work. That's not hard for me. Um, seeking mentorship. I like to do things myself, right? Like who, who just feels like I'm a total do it yourself or I'm going to figure this out. Right. Shelby, that can be a really great attribute in a lot of ways. And surely you need to have some of that, right? Because you can't always have somebody holding your hand. But at some point, you're going to max out your growth because you're not seeking after mentorship. And there's an easier way to do things. Like, don't be like me and do 45 health assessments. And then later on be like, oh, 
is there a health assessment form that you actually use that, that you use to do a health assessment? Oh, I didn't know that because I wasn't using my mentorship. So um, if you guys have printed this off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into this right now. If you guys have printed this off, pull it up and have it in front of you. And we're going to open up. And if you haven't, it's okay, but do it today because this is going to be really important. Um, so we're gonna kind of go down these. These are goal setting exercises. We're right here on, on page two. Um, number one, make an agreement with yourself to devote 30 to 60 minutes to doing this exercise. So the reason we're doing this right before Thanksgiving is we know we've got a break coming up and you guys might have just a little bit of downtime where you're gonna be able to sit down and you're gonna be able to go through this. And this is like maybe during your morning time, like, uh, if you guys have ever listened to Jenny Langston train on having some morning time, some meditation and some quiet time, this might be something that you're going to work in before, you know, life starts and you have some quiet, make a quiet space where you're not going to be interrupted. Get into a contemplative and creative state of mind, whatever that's going to take for you. If you need to stretch for a minute, if you need to do a little bit of reading. Um, and then this is so great. You guys, number four, give yourself permission to dream. Dream without limitation. This is really hard for me. The pessimist, I told you guys I'm a natural pessimist. The pessimist in me likes to say every, you know, if I dream, then what if it doesn't work out? Does anybody ever feel that way? Like I dreamt before and it didn't work. So, you know, this is a, this is a big one. Give yourself permission. It's okay to set a big goal and fall short it's okay like forgive yourself right now i can set this big goal and if it's okay if i don't reach it this is a big big huge one and then number five i love how this goes along with our life book too you guys i love if you don't have a life book yet get the life book order that today um focus primarily on three important areas of your life healthy body healthy mind healthy finances there's a reason i'm going to just bear my testimony right now. There's a reason that Dr. A has these three areas and that they're in that order. You can focus on healthy finances and healthy mind, but if your body isn't where you want it to be, let's start with that. Okay. Like if, if, if this is blowing your mind right now, cause you're like, oh, I'm not even on, I'm not even eating healthy. I'm just pretty much finishing up the Kit Kats from Halloween right now. It's okay. But like, let's get you, let's get back into fat burn if, if, if that's what you need to do. And then your business will come into fat burn. So start with your healthy mind, um, healthy body, healthy mind, healthy finances. And then ask yourself these questions. What do I want? I want somebody to take themselves off mute. What do you want? That's such a scary question, by the way. What do you want? If someone came up to you and said, hey, what do you want? What's the first thing that pops into your mind? We're gonna to start to share. Heather's like, I'm right about to take myself off mute right now. Um, <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, what do you want? Heather, if you're no, 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 I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, you know, the first thing that always pops into my mind is peace of mind. Mm. And I think that um, that's always my goal. And so um, if I am doing all I can do, and I want to go to bed with no regrets, and I want to wake up proud. Mm. And so um, if I have, if I'm just doing all I can do, and do I always get everything done I want to? No. But if I am always being intentional and um, working towards something, then I feel good. And like you said, I, if I'm working on my healthy body and I'm also working on my healthy mind and working towards building um, you know, my business, if I'm doing all those things, then I have peace of mind mm -hmm. and things might not happen as quickly as I want it to, but if I can feel peace that I did all I could do, then to me, that's, that's what I want. That's my number one. I totally have goosebumps right now. 
because I didn't have an answer. I, but I asked this question with no answer and I had no answer I was looking for. And, and the reason I got goosebumps is because I'm thinking, do I really get to hang out with you guys, Jenny? Like, do I really get to hang out with people that are this inspiring every day? Like, first of all, just, can I just say you guys are a gift in my life to me? You guys are a total gift to me. I appreciate you guys so much. The time that I get to spend with epic people who teach me stuff. Um, Jenny, peace of mind. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. But peace of mind comes from doing the things that make myself proud right? You're not going to get it all done, but, but there is something that's so key to me about waking up with no regrets, waking up proud. To me, that's my number one. If I wake up in the morning and I feel proud of what I accomplished the day before, no matter what it was, that's what I like. Um, anybody else, can you, can somebody else share what do they want? Let's move on. Let's ask another question. Where do I want to go? This is the next question. Where do you want to go? This can be, this is like wide open, right? Do you want to go to Tahiti? Is it, are we being really uh, literal right now? Or are we going to be, are we going to open this up a little bit bigger? I'll go on this one. Okay. Um, it's funny because that question, like you were just saying, I feel like can be, it's so open, right? So, like, is it a physical place that we want to be? Is it a financial state? Like all of those things. And it's, when I think about that, I think of like, where do I want to go as a person, like as a coach, as a mom, as a friend, um, as a wife. And just like, to me, it just means, um, you know, substantial growth as a person and be, being this like, you know, I, I feel like I, I look at our leaders, Gladys call that, you know, putting you on a pedestal and, and someone to learn from and, and try to become like similar to, right? Like as, you know, we look up to our leaders um, to become one of those myself in all aspects of my life, not just with coaching. Ooh, Heather, thank you. Yeah, where do I want to be as a person? I don't know about you guys, but it ebbs and flows, you know, but when I go to events and I hear someone talk, I think I want to be like that. I want to, I want to share authentically. I want to be an authentic person. And a lot of those people that inspire me have gone through a lot to become who they are. You can feel that, that, uh, I don't want to say hardening or weathering, but you can feel that refining process they've been through, right? That refining. Um, anybody else want to share on this one? I love this next question. Who do I want to help? Who do I want to, this is a, this is a cool question. Who do you want to help? What's the first thing that just popped into your mind? Who do I want to help? Brenda. Everyone. Everyone. Everybody. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. You guys look around now that you have what we have, like when you're driving, like, like every day I drive to my, I, I don't go to my workout class every day. I go three days a week. But when I drive there, I always see people running. And a lot of times they're heavier, like maybe over 50 pounds. And I'm like, I want to help you. <laughs> I want to pull over and be like, I can help you. <laughs> I want to help everyone. Um, somebody else share. Who do you want to help? Do you want to help? Go ahead. Is that me? It's so I funny, Jen. I don't I, know how this works. <laughs> I was, Jen, I was literally looking at you and I was going to call on you because I'm like, something about me is telling me that Jen wants to share and you took yourself off mute. That kind of blew my mind. Okay, well. I want to help myself. Perfect. I just, I've depended so much on my life on other people and kind of being a, I don't want to say victim, but a statistic of circumstance. 
and I, I want to help myself. I want to help myself. That sounds selfish, but also a good thing. <laughs> that was so powerful. That was so powerful. I feel you right now. And I would say that's the most important person you can help. You start with you. You guys, so many of us, before we came to this program, were unwilling to help ourselves. We were willing to help anyone else but us, right? Like, we kind of lived to help other people, and then we got sick. And, and then we waited for somebody to come and save us. And that's a really, that's a really scary feeling to wait for somebody to come save you. And it's a really wonderful feeling to know that not only can we help ourselves, but we can help ourselves in every way. Healthy body, then healthy mind, then healthy finances. You can do it. You can do it because we have the, we have it. So please help yourself. Thank you, Jen. I knew there was a reason I was looking at you. <laughs> okay. How, go ahead. Somebody else is going to share. I was just going to say, um, and when we, when we help ourselves, then we can be more authentic, like you were saying, when we try to help someone else. And when we really find success ourselves, and besides myself, I really want to help my husband because he struggles more than I do. And so I think if I can keep at this and if we can coach other people, then he will be more motivated to stay with it and, and keep his health where we want it to be. Thank you, Anne. Oh man, you guys, the only way to help our loved ones is to start with us. They're watching us. They don't want to, they don't want us to tell them what to do. They're just watching us and all we can do is inspire them. And for me, it wasn't my husband. It was my daughter and she was watching me and I didn't know you guys, I didn't know how to inspire her. When I, when I did this program, she was watching me and it, it ended up trickling down to her. It trickled down. And that's what happens to the people in your life. They're watching you and it's Thanksgiving. They are really watching you. And that doesn't mean you have to be perfect. They're watching to see how happy you are. They're watching to see how you show up as a person. Okay. They're not really watching what you're eating. They're watching to see how you show up. Um, there's one more question I have. We're almost at a time, but this is an important one to me. How do I want others to feel about me? How do I want others to feel about me? If you had, when I leave a room, what do I want people to say about me? I want to hear some answers on this one. You guys take yourself off mute. What, what's important to you? How do you want to show up? How do you want people to talk about you? Because they that are I'm genuine. Sorry, Heather, say that again. That I'm genuine. Genuine. Genuine inspiring inspiring I want that people keep to know oh go I, ahead I just want people to know that I really love and care about them and I hope that they can feel for me thank you Anne okay who else was off mute sorry oh I was just gonna say that I keep my promises keep your promises oh I love that Jenny Who else? These are good ones. Let's hear some more. I'm dependable and reliable. Dependable and reliable. Somebody that, that, can that I'm honest. That you're honest. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you. Um, this is so important because I think these are things that this is our true self that we want to be, right? And I think when we come to this program, 
the sharing part gets a little bit scary because we feel like we want people to understand who we are. Are we going to show up as a different person? When we leave, are, we, are people going to say, oh man, that was weird. I didn't like, I didn't like what they were doing. Okay, like, this is such a roadblock to your goals. This is a roadblock to your goals. You're telling, if you're telling yourself a story that people are going to say certain things about you, just remember, who really are you? How are you showing up? Okay. Because this is how people feel about you. I'm telling you guys, you're authentic. I can feel your hearts right now. And just be you. Just be you. You have a gift to share, but just be you. Because this, this is what draws people to you are the things that you guys just shared. This is why people are going to come to you for help is because they're feeling something from you. Do you feel that? And a lot of times people hear about our program from five people before they decide to go with a coach. And believe me, guys, I, I just, I did a bunch of Zooms with coaches this week. And one of my coaches said, everyone goes to somebody else. They hear about it from me and then they end up going with someone else. Do you know how many times that's happened to me? Like hundreds of times. How am I not showing up? But now I'm, I realize that people are going to connect with certain people. Okay. It's not because you're showing up wrong. You, you have certain friends because you make connections with certain people. So just show up as you and understand that when you're somebody's right answer, they're going to come to you. And if you ever tell yourself a story that you're not anybody's right answer, it's, it's untrue. You are someone's right answer. Um, but the more people you coach, the more experiences you'll have that people will go with other people for some other reason. And it's okay, because guess what? We have what everyone is looking for. There's plenty of people in the world, right? Like we have no shortage of potential clients because everyone in the world needs what we have. And I want you guys to remember from this Zoom Yes, there's a lot of work in this book. Okay, we just started to scratch the surface. We just started, but like, look, there's work, there's worksheets in here. And if you guys haven't printed this off, this is really cool. You're going to set one year goals, three year goals, five year goals. But I would challenge you to say that before you set these goals, we need to work on showing up. We need to work on showing up as a person who is authentic and real and, and has the attributes that we're looking for because we not only want to be that person, but we're looking for a certain kind of person to help us because we cannot do this alone. So as you go through and kind of create this list of who you're looking for, be watching for those people. It's the holidays right now and open up your horizons right now to realize that this is kind of hard for me. This was hard for me. I used to look, oh, who needs to lose weight? Who's in my client group? right? Who, who's, who really loves a program? Open up your horizons to the next level and, re, and think about the people in your life who have these attributes. And let's start to talk, talk to them. Ask them questions about what it is they love. Ask them questions about what it is they do. Be curious. We're not going to go to like our friend who's super successful at Roden and Fields and say, hey, I really want you to know what I do. Can we talk about me for a second? <laughs> right? Like we're going to be interested and think of how many opportunities you guys get over the holiday weekend and the holidays to be interested in people. Okay? So this is what I want you to take from the Zoom. Be interested in people. Start conversations. If Optavia never comes up, it doesn't matter because you've been interested in them, but I want you to look for people in your life who you would love to partner with. And I want you to be interested in them because you're going to be hanging out with them. Okay, you guys all get that? Do you guys all get that? This, they don't have to lose weight. They might be a bodybuilder. They might be a figure bikini person that's on this. They might be, they might be too young that you, you think they're, oh, this person's too young or they might be too old. 
if they have these qualities, they're your person. If you love hanging out with them and talking with them and you can't get enough of hanging out with them and talking to them, they might be this person and let's be interested in them. Okay, um, print, off your, print off your packets. Holidays are here. Uh, we, we already kind of went over some housekeeping stuff, but I'll be posting a lot to the Coaching Ohana page. And I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being here today and making some time to work on yourself. Thank you for being in my team and my corner. You guys are my people, you're my family, and I have so much gratitude for you. I just wanna express my gratitude to be able to hang out with people of your caliber. And, and thank you for sharing your hearts with me. This is a gift that has changed my life. And I hope that's what people feel when they're with me during the holidays. I hope they feel my gratitude for the things that I have. And it'd be cool if they asked me about them, but if they don't, it's okay. I'm going to ask them questions and I'm going to find out more about them. Um, have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful day and happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Take care.